wonderful people, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Tamlala, and you're welcome to my family. Today is a beautiful day. I'm the fire my and guys. If this is your first time of seeing my face, you're welcome to the family. Please do want to subscribe, like, share, give a thumbs up to my videos, which is what you like. <laughs> do not forget to drop a comment, and most importantly, turn on your post notification bell so you get to notified each time I post. So my ten subscribers, hi, hi guys, thank you for coming back once again. I appreciate you greatly and I pray God bless you and gives you and gives you peace now. It is a beautiful day and luckily for me, yet we've come to the end of the academic session of my teaching job. Alright, so I am just going to dive delve in. Basically, I'm going to be giving out my own opinion about what it means to have an entitlement mentality. Okay, I'm sure a lot of us are familiar with this particular word. I mean, this particular phrase, having an entitlement mentality. What exactly does this mean? Okay, so today, to me, I am just going to be talking from my own point of view. I'm not going to make reference to anybody's idea or opinion about this particular situation of mine. And so, I'm just going to be saying that when you say someone has an entitlement mentality, to me, it feels like you you feel like somebody is meant to do something for you, okay, regardless of the fact that you deserve it or not. Um, but in most cases, people have this mentality when they feel like they deserve it. Yes, they feel like I deserve to be favored, I deserve to be paid back, I deserve to be, to, to be, I deserve to be favored or paid back. So you hear people saying that. I mean, after all I've done for him, after all I've done for her, look what she did to me, look what she did. She ought to have done better. Or maybe somebody paid you back in a way that they felt was okay or deserving to them. And you feel like they could have done better. I mean, you know, you feel like, is this what you can do? That's what I did for you and all those kind of thoughts. Today, I am not here to talk about whether it is right or wrong. But either way, you'll find out in my line of thoughts done giving out my own take on this. So I would like to know what you guys think about having entitlement mentality. Do you feel that it is justified or uh, thought? Do you feel like it's justified for you to have that kind of thought towards people, regardless of whatever you have done for them at any point in time? And this thing mostly happens between people that you consider to be your family, to be your friends, to be your boss at work, to be people that you meet in life's journey. Okay? But either way, one thing you must know for sure is that nobody owes you anything. Yes, it might be hard to digest, it might be hard to, to, to take in, but the fact remains that nobody owes you anything. See, the fact that you have done someone a favor at one particular point in time does not necessarily mean that they have to do something else with you. It does not necessarily mean that the person in question must be the one, and it's correct, that must be the one to repay you back in the same way you have repaid them. Okay? Because sometimes, you know, we are, we are limited by what we I won't blame us because we are we are women, okay? That's why we are sprinting for yet a few moments. So we only see what we see and we know what we know. So if for example now I have a brother, a family member, or an uncle that is doing so well, and as a young graduate, I feel like okay, I don't need to go about looking for jobs. After all, my uncle is well loaded, my aunt is well loaded, or I have a family member that can link me up with a better job. I might be mistaken. Yes, because there's this proverb in Yoruba that says that you will be open to me, that you are related to somebody by blood or by whatever does not mean automatically you're going to be favored by them. So go to this to favor anyone that you don't wish. I think the basic thing you need to do is that don't move on with life. Don't expect too much from people. When you expect too much from people, you get disappointed. Trust me, I've been a witness to this. Like I've experienced times with that number and I've learned my lessons. Never expect too much from people because the more you keep expecting too much from people, after a while, you get depressed. You will get discouraged. A lot of things will go on along the way, and you might be so disappointed. So, in order not to avoid stories that touch the heart, or not, in order to avoid stories that touch the heart, do not expect so much from people. Have an open mind, okay? And don't have this entitlement mentality. Honestly, it never takes, okay? Like I said, whoever wants to pay for you will pay for you. If you do your best to ask for help when necessary and you get declined, don't feel like this person can actually pay for me. But why is it choosing not to pay for me? There might be some underlying facts, underlying stories behind this. Why the person might choose not to help you? So basically, 
I have an enticement mentality that says, does no one any good. Okay? In fact, it destroys relationships and it makes you feel very, very different. So why would you go through that trauma? Why don't you just keep your eyes on God, do your thing, and move? Okay? So whatever comes along down with life's journey, knowing fully well that we've done all that we can and that we know that we are not expecting from people, regardless of whatever connection we have with them, have it at the back of your mind that people will still be people. Amen. No, no, no. So I don't know what you guys think about this sort of mind. What do you think about having an enticement mentality? Have you been a victim of one? Can I share it first in the comment section? I would love to listen to you guys. And if you have never been a victim of, a victim of such, you can give me a whole line of thought. What do you think about it? Do you feel like it's right to have an enticement mentality? Do you feel like it's not? Whatever you think it is, just drop in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I appreciate it greatly. And I pray God blesses you. Peace you all. And